Hello and welcome to the Holdfast SDK video tutorial series. For this first video we're going to show you how to get started with the SDK and actually install it. And then once we've done that, in future videos we'll go over how to use the tools that are found inside of the SDK and actually start making some maps. So let's get started getting the SDK installed. The first thing you need to do is go to the link in the description and there you need to go to the user guide and it should take you to a page which looks like this. When you're here you need to scroll down until you find the install in Unity section and that will give you a link to download Unity. Make sure you get it from this link because it's very important that you use Unity 2018.4.11 F1 otherwise you may run into some issues with the mod tool. So you need to click on the download, click download again and that will start an automatic download and then once it's downloaded simply run the install exe and you can follow the install tutorial on the user guide if you don't know how to install Unity. Once you've installed Unity, come back to the video and then we'll go to the next step. So now Unity is installed, you should have a little logo on your desktop and that's a shortcut to actually launch in Unity, but we don't need to worry about that. So we need to go to Steam now to actually get the SDK. So you go to Steam and then I already see it here because I have it installed, but if you don't see it, you need to click on this drop down. It will say Games just up here. Click on that and then click on the Tools check and then you can search for Holdfast and then you should see Holdfast Nations at War SDK. Click on it, click on install, and then once it's installed, you can then press launch, and then click on launch game editor. That's gonna load up the SDK folder where the launch editor can be found. So you're gonna click on that, and it's gonna launch up the Unity Hub, and you should now see Holdfast Nations at War Project SDK. If you don't see this, you need to click on open, and then navigate to where the SDK is installed, and then click on the Holdfast SDK project folder and then click on select folder. If the project is now shown here, you need to click on it and then it will start the launch of Unity. It's gonna take a little while if it's your first launch, but I already have it installed. So we're just gonna to go to the next step. So pause the video and then come back once it's launched and everything has calculated and actually extracted. So now Unity's launched, you should be in a screen which looks something like this. I have a little bit more stuff because I'm already in a modded map that I've created. So the first thing you should do every time you load up the SDK is go to the Holdfast SDK Tools tab up here and then click on Load Holdfast SDK Editor Layout because your editor layout may look different to mine so we need to make sure everyone's on the same page. So let's click that. That's going to refresh and then you should now see that it's downloading all the game assets over here. So now if we want to make a map, the first thing we need to do is create an empty mod. So we do that by going to the SDK Tools tab again and then clicking on Create Empty Mod and then giving it a name. We're going to call it My Mod Map. And then we're going to click Create Mod. That's going to create a folder in your assets directory here. Don't worry about that for now because we'll come back to that. That's just going to store your scene files and stuff like that. Now we need to actually make the land scene itself. So we go to Hardfast SDK Tools again, click on Scene Creator, and then click on Land Scene. Make sure you have the target mod selected, which is going to be My Mod Map, which is the mod we just made. And then we need to give it a scene name, so let's call it My Mod Map. And then we need to make sure we have Create Empty Scene selected. You can have a non-empty scene, but it's just going to get in the way for this tutorial series, so I suggest just going for the empty scene. Then click Create Scene. Click Don't Save. And that's then going to load you into a flat plane which looks like this and it's going to have a couple of spawn nodes and also some capture points. So that's how you get into the SDK tool and also set up your first map. In the next set of videos we'll go over how to actually texture and edit the terrain.